American Gothic is painted by Grant Wood. The painting was one of the most recognized iconic painting in American art history. The title was inspired by the Gothic window of the farmhouse placed at the very center of the painting. It was the most familiar and well-known painting in the 20th century, and one of the most parodied artworks within the American culture. American Gothic aims to depict the rural lifestyle of Midwest America. Though simple and straightforward, the painting left the audience pondering about Grant Wood's real intentions. Some believe that he was poking fun at rural America, while others think that he was attempting to glorify and memorialize it. Grant V. Wilson Wood, an American painter, was born on February 13, 1891, four miles east from Anamosa, Iowa. He showed an interest in art at a very early age, and was best known for his painting American Gothic. An iconic image of the 20th century. He moved to stay in Cedar Rapids after his father's death in 1901. He then enrolled in an art school in Minneapolis, and finally joined the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, where he created some work as a silversmith. While he was studying many styles of painting, especially Impressionism and Post-Impressionism. He made four trips to Europe. However, only the work of Flemish artist Jan Van Eyck had clarified him to the new techniques of painting. In 1932, he helped the artist get through the Great Depression and became the great proponent of regionalism. Because of his detailed techniques, which were derived from Northern Renaissance paintings, he was one of the most active painters and was considered the patron artist of Cedar Rapids. Grant Wood was closely associated with the American movement of regionalism, that was primarily situated in the Midwest. Regionalism advanced figurative paintings of rural American themes in an aggressive rejection of the European abstraction. American Gothic is the key image of regionalism. It is also known as an American scene painting, a naturalist style painting, and other work of art during the 1920s and the 1950s in the United States. Much of American scene paintings convey a sense of nationalism and romanticism in depictions of everyday American life. During the 1930s, these artists documented and depicted American cities, small towns, and rural landscapes. Some did so as a way to return to a simpler time period, away from industrialization, whereas others. Sought to make a political statement and lend their art to revolutionary and radical causes. Grant Wood is best known for his portrayals of the rural American life. And the landscape of Iowa. His most famous piece, American Gothic, has become a cultural icon and is vastly recognized regardless of its background. In 1930, Grant Wood noticed the Dibble House, a small white house built in the Carpenter Gothic architectural style in Eldon, Iowa. Wood decided to paint the house along with the people he imagined living in the house. One day, as he was driving in Iowa, Wood noticed a boy walking with a pitchfork and holding it upright. 
The scene reminded him of an elder boy carrying a tall candle he had seen in procession in Europe's Gothic cathedral, and this inspired him to create this iconic painting. American Gothic became widely known after Wood entered the painting into a competition at the Art Institute of Chicago. Not long after, the painting began to be replicated in newspapers and received many criticisms. Wood considers American Gothic to be a very religious painting. This is accentuated through the steep like roof, the church spire on the left of the background, and the famous white collar and black jacket, which was familiar to a clergyman's suit. There are also numerous shapes in the painting, such as perfectly circular trees, window shades, the woman's apron, and the man's glasses. These components represent the change of seasons and the cycle of life. The pitchfork figure is also repeated on the denim, a fabric designed in America. And number three represents Christianity. The notion of working on the land for a living, being in tune with nature, and by extension with God, is represented by these two Iowa's farmers. American Gothic can be interpreted as a historical painting. The painting depicts the Midwest farmer and his splinter daughter standing in a defensive position during the Great Depression in 1930s. With this interpretation, the viewers can be incorporated into the painting by playing the role of sheriff standing at the gate or coming into the front yard, but is blocked by the farmer and his daughter. American Gothic can also be interpreted as an identification of American gender roles. The father is standing in front of the red barn, while the daughter is standing in front of the kitchen and the house plants on the porch. American Gothic also captures persons of middle class rural America, its values, its ability to endure hardship, its struggle, poverty, and stoicism, while at the same time records a period of the nation's history. In 1929, the United States was faced with the Great Depression. The Great Depression was a decade of severe economic downturn, where money was scarce. People at the time attempted to find ways to bring happiness into their lives. This resulted in various sources of entertainment, such as movies, parlor games, and board games. They also tried to escape into books and kept themselves busy through music and dancing. Art and architecture dominated the period and were supported by government programs. Artists began to explore themes based on the culture and history that had occurred during that time period. Grant Wood's famous work, American Gothic, was the tipping point of the American regionalist style that emerged from this decade. American Gothic is one of the few paintings that reached the cultural icon. Only the few people who recognize American Gothic have seen it firsthand. Most of them have seen it through parody media. The Depression era elucidated the painting as a depiction of authentic American scene and prompted the first well-known parody in 1942, a photo by Gordon Park of a cleaning woman, Ella Watson, shot in Washington, D.C. Although the decades have passed, American Gothic still stands as one of the most famous paintings that is well known for its parodies all over the world. Not only does it have influence on the later art, but also on the media such as advertisements and CD covers.
People have made contradicting interpretations of American Gothic. They have different opinions, ideas, and explanations. Some may perceive the work as a scathing parody of the Midwest farm country or small town life. The word Gothic gave a negative connotation to the painting. It also means crude or underdeveloped. The painting was created during the Great Depression, which was the downturn of the economy. So some may suspect that the painting was created as a sarcastic representation of the Midwest. But some people think of the painting as a way of honoring the Midwest character and its strong values. People focused on the difference in the age of the two characters in the painting. The two characters were modeled by Wood's sister, Nan Wood Graham, and his dentist, Byron McKeeby. They argued about whether the relationship between the two is actually man and wife, or father and daughter, because the woman looks significantly younger than the man. So it is more likely that she is his daughter rather than his wife. American Gothic. Is a painting that leaves an open-ended exposition for the viewers to interpret by using their own opinions and formulating their own meanings. Although it was accused of being a satire of rural life, Wood believed that it dignifies the Midwestern character. It is a painting that truly exemplifies the precise realism of European artists in the 15th century.